Look here. This thing is awesome. Whoa. Whoa. No, not that one. Terminator. Terminator. Look at Terminator. Dude, we got an arcade up. What's going on guys? Welcome to Find Me Toys, where I did find me, not necessarily a toy toy, but one of my childhood, well, this is a dream come true, basically. I have waited for about 29 years since the famous Captain Kids in the Tascadero went down. Uh, they had, a, it was basically a Chuck E. Cheese, but 10 times better. Arcade is everywhere, the classic X-Men, Ninja Turtles, but there was one I always loved and the one I said if I ever had a chance as an adult, I would absolutely buy and put in my man cave. And I can't believe it, they did it. Arcade one up, one up themselves. And now I got. The T2 Judgment Day with the Uzis RK1 up. And we are going to do a review and we're going to open this bad boy up. Now let's get started. So there we go. Here's the manual and we have all of our accessories. So let's get the manual. I think we do this time around. Let's actually look at the manual and put it together one by one. All right, let's see what else we have. We have a lot of our accessories. Uh, I have two weeks, so we want to put, this is day two, so I got it yesterday. We want to put this together to make sure that everything works. This is out. Oh, these are kind of heavy. So this is, I heard this is like one of the, I know that comes with a riser. So the riser is basically the under, there's the, there's the actual, you know, cabinet, and then a riser is what you put underneath the cabinet to make it rise, of course. This one is probably the tallest Arcade 1UP has done. So it looks like we, this is the, uh, the panel, or this is the, uh, the deck where the two Uzis go in. I didn't see anything. Maybe it's uh, in the, one of the plastics. Okay, so we got mostly all the pieces out. Uh, this is all the pieces that come with this RK1 Up. So here are the Uzis that come with the RK1 Up. It's actually a lot more bigger than I actually thought. When I saw it in the videos, it looked a little bit smaller. Uh, if you don't know, the original cabinet, the original uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, they had these in black. When I was a kid, they were black. That's why they look like Uzis. They have them in red and they have them in blue. So it's a little bit of a process. I mean, you have a lot of little parts you got to put together. It's the cabinet that takes the most work. I have a extension cord running all to my wall. Can I have my freaking instructions here? Yeah, buddy. Let's, let's get this, let's get this out of here. Oh, it's looking so sexy. Oh, what the hell is this? All right, so this is the back where we're, so we're at the stage where we put both of the sides on there. Now the problem is I do have a little bit of a scratch on there, but it's not a big deal, honestly. And you can just paint it if you want, but this is gonna have some wear later on in life anyway. I'm just really want it. Uh, see how it pops up. It's kind of a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure professionals who already had arcade one ups, uh, it's fairly easy for them. But this is our first one, so as you keeps as, as you can see, everything keeps coming off. But this is a, we're doing step by step here. The marquee or the design. For the top, this thing is a pain in the ass. This doesn't really go really well in a groove. And this part keeps popping off. This is solid. 
I mean, I think you could make it more tighter. Yeah, but you don't tighten it up until the end. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Take a let's take a look at the marquee. It is a little bit, as you can see, the, the measurements are just kind of off on the marquee. I don't have screws on this side. You know? I don't have screws on this side. It's not tight. Oh, but yeah, but look at how are we gonna push this out? See how it's still is. You don't, that's where in? it's supposed to be. Well, it has a groove it sits in right there. Whatever, the marquee. Here's the overall layout before we put the control panel. Uh, no screws on the side yet. We're going to put those bad boys in. But look at the design work, man. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, once we put the screws in, it'll be a little bit more tighter. But this was a little bit, kind of had a curve, a little bent to it. You're, you do want this on there so no dust or anything goes in there. Because this is the inside of the cabinet. This is the back of the screen. This does have Wi-Fi, so you could... I don't think you could play with other players. We'll check that out. I think, I think it's it's a it's a dual player, but I think you can't play online with players. I think it's just the the overall high scores and stuff. But we're gonna continue to work on this. We're in hour number two, so let's do it. Dope. I guess you'd call it the joystick, the controllers. That's where the two Uzis go in. And we got the back right here. So as you can see, that's where the cables and stuff go. That's why you work from the back. Okay, we just put the Uzis in right now. Uh, I did untie one of them. I remember the cord being a little bit more shorter too when I was a kid, the original um, cabinet. But this is the size that you're looking at. Once we turn it on, we'll see how the picture is and everything. So all we have left is the riser. As you can see, we have the T1000. I love, I just love the look of this. Uh, I don't I don't remember it having the T1000 like that and the old uh, um, arcade or the old cabinet. And we're gonna put it right here next to the Predator, uh, right in front of the shelf right here, which we don't really use too much. Okay, we just put the put it on the riser right now. We're about to plug it in pretty soon, but this is the final touches on T2. I'm gonna plug the extension cord in. We got the cable in there. Okay, so we got it all done here. So if you want to bring the camera in real quick, I'm gonna show you. So we have the two Uzis. Here's the screen right here. This is the uh, on button, and this is the volume. So the moment of truth, let's back up. Let's see the screen and see if it pop, everything is fine. At two weeks to, you know, take this back, but it's not good. So let's turn it on. Ooh, it wasn't, it's not even a hard light right. It's like a little soft, it's like a little trigger, little trigger to the, to the right to turn it on. Loading, you could see the marquee light up. I, this is one of the best features. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That baby's loud, especially in the garage where it echoes. So the arcade one up, the volume button, same thing, not too hard. You could actually lower or higher. Come here and take a look real quick. So here's the live button. Uh, we'll figure out the, you see this is the online leaderboards feature. Um, don't, I'm gonna push no, cause I'm not worried about that right now. But look at the, so the button, it's just a nice little flick. Not too, uh, not too hard, it's just a flick. Same with the on and off button. So let's uh, start this, I wanna back up real quick. So I'll, I'll use the blue ones, it's the blue ones. So this is the length of the cord right here. Here's the gun. So let's see if this bad boy, the center is really, ooh, the center's really good. So far so good. So I'm gonna say no for now, I can go back. Oh man, look at this. So we have the Terminator Judgment Day right here. We have the making of, which is a bonus feature of the making of the Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Now other arcade one-ups either have like other games that you could do. Uh, most, some have like 12 in them, some have three. This is kind of dumb. I think they should have put something else in the making of of Terminator 
too. Nobody's gonna watch that. You have the credits, the settings. Here's the settings right here. Game difficulty. Uh, this is what's impressive is they do have a lot of options on here. But we're just gonna go right to the meat and potatoes here. Uh, how do I get back? All right, hide menu, so hide menu. All right, let's give it a go and see. So we're gonna start it off. Hold gun one, start button down for five seconds or press the live button to return to main menu. Press start button to continue. So here's the start button. So what's great is here's the holders for the Uzis. Here's the start button. This is player one and then we have a player two on the other side. So let's push that. So you have the grenade. It's actually louder. I've been hearing a lot of people say this isn't as loud. I'm not even in full volume. So it's we'll see the gameplay, but it's kind of loud. I think maybe because I am in the garage and this is where I'm gonna keep, I keep all my man cave. Okay. So uh, just to let you know, there is no coin op, like you know where you put the coins that they do have like kind of like uh, molds and stuff to make it like pop out on the, the mark or the uh, cabinet. The Terminator 2 doesn't have that for some reason. A lot of the arcade one ups, do have like that coin looking display to it, but not this one for some reason, which is fine. I don't need it. Okay, so the, it does seem like the volume is not that loud. Yeah, you can, it is a little bit lower when you're actually doing the gameplay. So we're gonna higher it up a little bit. So I'm at uh, volume. Interesting, oh, here we go. A little lag on the volume. I'm trying to get it to go all the way up. Okay, we're gonna try to get gameplay going on right now. Okay, so a little lag on, so I'm trying to get it more volume up. It seems to have a, a really delay. Let's see the gameplay real quick. So it's at volume number 10. Oh, this is so cool. So the gun rumbles, so the gun rumbles, but look, the uh, the actual sensor is really nice. Everything's pulling really good. They have to get a grenade here. Oh yeah, look at the grenades. So, the, so this button is working. All right, but you see how it rumbles? You can actually turn this option off. So we're gonna see the gameplay on number two and see if that goes, it does. Okay, this, so I, somebody did tell me that this rumbles a little bit more than this one. This is a little bit more louder. You see, it's a little bit more weaker than the blue one. The blue one seems like it pops a little bit more. Yeah, you could tell this is a, just a little bit more weaker. Let's try the, the missile button. Missile button works. I'm very impressed with the sensor. So we're gonna put this one back. Oh yeah, so to, uh, so you, all you have to do is press start to continue the game again. So look at the gameplay on this. So it's two players. I think this is actually a pretty good uh, width wise. I mean, of course, back in the day it was more wider, but you have two players and uh, the angle, if you want to go behind my shoulder, go behind my, this is, so if you're playing with two players, I'm a bigger guy. And I think it works perfectly still. You still have your gun right here. You're able to... Uh... Oh, the sensor. There's the sensor. Yeah, you're still able to... It's a little bit harder with the sensor, I, I notice, if you're on the side. If I go right here and I'm in the middle, it works perfectly. But if you're on the side, it's a little bit more harder to get that sensor. You're gonna... So you're really gonna have to really squeeze tight if you're with somebody playing. All right, so this is the gameplay. This is the first level. You actually could change levels on the settings. So let's try the volume button again. Okay, the volume button. This is the one issue I'm having on the volume button. It's not going like, it, it's really lagging on the volume button on when the button itself. The marquee lights up. The Uzis work. The sensors is what I'm really impressed. 
Uh, I thought this might be too, of a, too much of a small screen because back in the day, the original Terminator 2 Judgment Day was a little bit more, of course, wider. Uh, definitely had more, a little bit more room. But I'm super impressed with this thing. Like this, the sensors on this thing, absolutely phenomenal. Bombs per play, energy play. Let's see if there's a volume controller here. Start level. So here's your start level right here. And you can actually start either on level one or you could choose different levels. There's four. So it's weird that it goes straight to six. But I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever. The picture looks very clear. You saw the gameplay on there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is... This is going to run you around like 761 I believe. It was $699 plus the sales tax, which is like $61. Uh, I am really, I might be able to fix this later on, the volume button. Oh, look it. Now it's, now it's going really good. The down, up. That's very interesting. Maybe you have to set it before you actually do gameplay, but now it's going pretty good on that button-wise. Uh, everything else, I, you get it for the cabinet. The cabinet is just gorgeous. The riser, the T2 emblem right here. Uh, Arnold, of course, his classic look. The side panels as well. Uh, right next to my big Predator. I am absolutely loving this, guys. You have no idea how long, like, I wanted this as a kid. So the last thing we're going to do, we're going to see how the turn off options are. So hopefully this turns off, uh, you know, turns off <laughs> that it needs to do. So uh, we're going to um, push this button once again to the left. Beautiful power off right here. Like I said, it's, it, the power cord is on my extension cord. Every night though, I want to unplug the power cord from the extension cord just for safety reasons. This seems very, with the riser, without the riser, it wasn't very stable. With the riser, because we did drill it and we did put, uh, we used screwdriver for, the, for the, the actual cabinet. But for the riser, we used the drill. You want to do that so it's nice and sturdy. This thing is nice and sturdy. You know, it's, 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 uh, it, it's not, it's balanced. Uh, I, think, uh, it, I think it is safe, especially for kids, but I would be with your kid while they're playing this. Uh, my kid is about this yay height, so we're probably going to have to get a stool so he can play it, uh, play on this. But no, let's try to power on real quick and see if it, uh, if there's any issues at all. But everything looks magnificent. If I had to say, do I think the price is a little overboard? I do, because you're only getting this game. You should be able to get me, but there's nothing really. Oh, look at the, look at that. It looks clear, crystal clear. I really like that. You know, it doesn't have that crazy kind of arcade effects to it, but no, everything looks fantastic. Uh, it is a little bit much for just one game, but I'm very impressed with it. This is kind of the only game I want though. This is the only arcade one I wanted and I got it. This is a lifetime dream come true. Uh, if I'm super impressed with this, uh, if there's any like a Dragon Ball Z, or a uh, AVP, Alien vs. Predator one they come out with, of course, I'm gonna grab that. But for now, I think Terminator 2 Judgment Day sitting here with all my collectibles, I think this is a great find and it was a spur of the moment buy. I do recommend maybe waiting later on and maybe a reseller will sell it for cheaper. Uh, but I, I said, you know what, let's pull the trigger. I want it now. There was only one left in my local Best Buy. You can get these at Best Buy. Like I said, it's going to run almost $800. Uh, one year warranty on the Arcade One Up website, but only two weeks when you do purchase in store. There's nothing more, I don't think they have more of a protection package, but Terminator 2 Judgment Day, if I had to rate it, uh, I would give it with some of the pain in the ass putting it together, uh, the volume button. I would actually give this an 8 out of 10. I'm not going to go 10 out of 10 just because of just one game. And I could see why people would get frustrated of just having 
just this game and some of the putting it together as well. Uh, and then also if your button is like jamming like that. So eight out of 10, but I, I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, personally, 10 out of 10 in my heart, but yeah, I would, uh, I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, this is this is a drink of treat. So thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like it. And yeah, comment and let me know if you guys grab this. This came out this year, about the beginning of the year. Uh, and I know there's going to be more announcements for more Arcade 1-Ups. We'll see if we get another one in the future. But I went to go find me a toy, and I came back with an arcade, and I am beaming. So thank you, guys. I'm Danny Megan, Dan's son, and we're out of here. Bye.